So let's talk about communication apprehension, or what most people call stage fright. The term communication apprehension was first coined in 1970 by communications professor James McCroskey. He defined communication apprehension as the feeling of anxiety that we suffer when we have to communicate, or when we anticipate having to communicate with other people. Although many of us are hesitant to communicate, research has shown that one in five Americans suffer from this apprehension to a point it could be considered a disability. Those with the highest levels of communication apprehension will do almost anything to avoid speaking. The first step in overcoming your communication apprehension is to take steps to change how you think about communicating with others. And first, you have to know what type of communication anxiety you suffer from, state anxiety, trait anxiety, or scrutiny fear. The most common type of communication apprehension is state anxiety. That's where your central nervous system responds to a specific and temporary situation, like giving a speech. Trait anxiety is a personality characteristic. And if you have trait anxiety, it's probably not just public speaking. You're a shy person in general. Finally, scrutiny fear. This is a type of communication apprehension that doesn't necessarily come from interacting with people. It's your fear of being observed or watched by people while speaking. While three out of four Americans suffer from some fear of public speaking, only about 20% have true communication apprehension. And that can have a negative impact on their interactions with others and their professional goals. The best way to overcome your communication anxiety is to take steps to trick your brain so you can become a more confident speaker. There's a wonderful online quiz written by Dr. McCroskey to figure out if you have a normal fear of public speaking or if you suffer from a diagnosable form of communication apprehension. In the next video, I'll explore the most common types of communication apprehension I see in public speaking students, and I'll give you some techniques for overcoming your fears and becoming a better, more confident speaker.